I think we live, I've, I've, I say this often, that we live in the age of overcorrection, right? If you think about it, this is, this is why I think so well many, said. this is why I think so many people liked the 1990s and the 2000s, <laughs> the, the, the 1990s and the 2000s, no iPhones, I think. Were, that's why. <laughs> it's, it's a factor, but I think that's when most Western countries achieved the harmony and optimal balance, right? Stuff was just balanced. It was like, okay, cool, we've overcome the the racism and the sexism and the vicious homophobia and the segregation and all these other things throughout these decades and previous decades and centuries that right that people got wrong and that people were just you know way too much hostility and division and mistreatment of people right we've overcome that level of genuine bigotry um and we just have this moment this 20 year period let's say where cool like we we've just got the balance people are not at each other's throats the polit political climate isn't crazy yeah sure you've got conservatives and liberals but they're not like at each other's throats there's not a major there weren't major mm -hmm. culture war like not not like it is now we're having major culture wars going on and things are so polarized that you know even if you say that you know it, a man, a man doesn't get pregnant. That that was not a conservative statement just, you know, 10 years ago or 20, let alone 20 years ago. So I think that what's happened is everything has overcorrected, right? So this is now where you get the quote unquote anti-racist movement has become racist, right? The quote unquote feminists have become, you know, in some cases, man-hating, you know, almost female supremacist types. Or you've got the other branch of it where they don't even know what a woman is anymore. And they've actually adopted switched into becoming a not even a men's rights movement but like a confused men supremacy movement mm. that dominates women and even threatens them if they don't get on board you had the people who even do support abortion go from safe legal and rare it's a necessary evil don't don't really like it but maybe you know we need this thing to you know shout your abortion and abortion is good and abortion is pro-social and you know people making tiktoks of them going to whoa like massive overcorrection um, you see it in the political discourse, right? The way that you can go on social media now and you, you'll see old people who should know better. Mm. People who are 70 plus throwing insults and vicious barbs at each other on social media like their children on a playground, right? In the past, yeah, there was always political discourse. They could just debate, it could get spicy, but the level of personal attacks and pettiness and just mm. childlike behavior, like it's all... It's all just overcorrected. It's just you know it's it's gone. All right, we've we overshot the mark on all these things happening simultaneously. You could argue that absolutely. You know, if you go back to the to the eighties or nineties or maybe even before that, you know, this female ideal of you know the ultra skinny size zero anorexic type looking model that is being kind of put in everyone's face. Okay, that's encouraging even in some cases eating disorders and body dysmorphias and stuff like that for young girls okay maybe we want something that's a little more in line with you know a health an actual healthy body and what a woman most one more what women look like but nope we overshot now you're putting morbidly obese people on uh magazine covers and telling people telling women they can be healthy at any size fat is beautiful big is beautiful you know anyone who even has a problem with that it's because they're a bigot or because men are sexist or actually if you don't like obese women it's because you're racist i've seen that argument and it's just like what are we what are we doing here mm. right so i think all of these things are examples of overcorrection and it's causing a lot of problems. I, I've said before, something I've quoted a few times, uh, it's, it's a quote of mine, I'm quoting myself, but I've said that any any social movement without a clearly defined finish line will end up becoming what it initially sought mm. to fight against, right? So if you start out wanting to combat this thing, but you, 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 re you achieve the goal or you achieve the balance and you just keep on going, mm -hmm. eventually, the people pushing that become the actual bigots and the genuinely intolerant and you well know. that's so true i mean feminism is case in point there and i mm -hmm. i've gotten criticism for daring to say that the original feminists got it right when mm -hmm. it came to yes women are equal to men in dignity and they should be treated equally under the law and yes they should be able to vote and work but then we took the power that we had and we weaponized it mm -hmm. against men, mm -hmm. and we weaponized it even the worst against children. Mm -hmm. And now to be a feminist is to be pro-abortion. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely disgusting, yeah, and, and that, that was part of the problem in the '90s too. So there was. I, I'm hearing. I mean, how yeah. old were we in the '90s? I think you're just a few years older than me. But yeah. like, 
how, how under 10 i mean yeah i mean so it's hard to <laughs> you know i think yeah. we always look back i think this is older generations too and you look back at your childhood with rosy colored mm-hmm. rose colored glasses like it was good in the old days you know now the kids are crazy mm-hmm. um but you know we had horrible abortion rates even higher actually mm-hmm. in the 90s than we have now but it's because feminism is like okay we won these things but now we want what mm-hmm. we need to keep, we're just going to keep fighting you know, yeah. it wasn't just, we, we got the right to vote, we got the right to work, yeah. the right to not be fired and, if we're pregnant. <laughs> and, and now it's like, we're going to go kill babies. Yeah. Yes. And, and, what, and what's funny is, you know, the other elements, oh gosh, I didn't even bring over the, oh, the biggest overcorrection, the whole LGBTQ plus 2AAP XYZ movement, right? I mean, you started literally as LGB. And LGB, like every couple of years, they're literally adding letters to the thing. The LGB is not even relevant anymore. It's all about the T now and the T's and the Q's. Um, and it's again, it's it's overshot its mark. It went from it went from hey hey you know what, let's stop like let's stop gay bashing. Let's stop like being viciously discriminatory and calling people the f word and you know doing this and doing that. Let's be let's have genuine tolerance in society and not mistreat people based on these various things. Right. That was the original thing right mm. actual cool like hey we want we want equal rights we want fair treatment we don't want to be bullied and beaten up and harassed on the well, street well it's one thing right? to not get like you know obviously if you have same sex attract same mm-hmm. sex attraction you should not be bullied you mm-hmm. should not be fired you mm-hmm. should not i mean you you have equal dignity and i think equal rights to anyone else mm-hmm. but that's different than saying now i'm going to redefine marriage that's the correction and say I should have the same marriage rights and I should be able to adopt children and do all of these mm-hmm. things. Like that's another step. Mm-hmm. So like tolerance means different things to different people. It does. It does. They, for tolerance for a you know, LGBT movement today, it's like we should be able to um, you know, have the same rights as a man, woman marriage. We should be able to get we adopt children, create mm-hmm. children via surrogacy and IVF. Like there's no basically a child doesn't deserve a mother and a father. Mm-hmm. That's not even a consideration anymore. Yeah.